Well, hey there, Flat Club. This is Crash here. <laughs> I'm happy to say that I have finally finished building my MK2. Now, I'm going to run a couple of trial runs on it to kind of benchmark it, make sure that it's every, everything's working okay. And then after that, um, I'm going to rip it back apart and I'm going to get it painted. And um, that's the plan anyway. Let's uh, probably have to start on that after my vacation. So I'll probably looking at the second half of August that I'll get started on that. So, just a little bit about the machine. It is all stock. I am using the MPJA, what is it, the 166 ounce steppers. And I looked up the data sheet on that and I was kind of surprised to see that you could take them up to 5 volts, but the amperage was recommended at 1.4 amps. So, that being the case, um, I set the VREF points uh, at twice that for voltage, as we know with the easy CNC card, you do that. So, anyway, I set it up at um, 2.8 volts, dialed all three axes in, I haven't done anything else with it. It looks like it's not missing any steps just from running a dry run, which is uh, no foam, kicking the lid back, and letting it run. I've got it set to 200 inches per minute, and um, Let's see how it does. This is you guys getting this the first thing I'm going to cut. Now in Toledo, uh, and well, you know, my MK1, I have cut tons of those uh, Laser Toys mini arrows with, of course, my modifications to them. And uh, we ran a bunch of those at Toledo, and that's kind of become my benchmark file. Now I was running those uh, two out per sheet on my MK1, and at my old settings, the old steppers, factory steppers, I was able to get uh, one sheet, two airplane kits, cut out in about 34 minutes. Now I've since upgraded to the JVL 169 ounce inch steppers on the MK1 and was able to reduce that down to, I want to say like 24 minutes. So that's what we got to beat with MK2. So let's see what happens. Here we go.
Okay, I can tell you, after having cut tons of these kits, I can just look at this sheet, and I'll hold it up and let the light shine through, but there are no anomalies. Six minutes, 40 seconds. So that is three minutes, 20 seconds per kit. If you're interested in any airplanes, you may feel free to contact me at crash.hancock at gmail.com because now that I got a machine that can put these kits out quickly, uh, I'm going to be selling them. So thanks for watching.